Hello everybody welcome to my channel before starting my video if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do and do not forget to turn on notifications as I'm sharing everyday great content for you. Alright guys in this lesson we will continue with the controllers and views. Actually I'm planning to show you the connection between controller and views in this lesson. Let's create a new controller right click on controller folder add and controller you can either you can use adding controller or class let's start with the selecting controller um, select mvc controller empty because we're working on mvc project right now here we go if you would like to create an api controller click api and select api controller okay let's continue with the mvc one add let's say home controller okay i'm going to use home controller let's add this is our controller um, initial controller class the difference between normal class we have uh, we have inherited from controller based class and it gave, gave, gave us a basic an action method okay let's have a look what is this controller then click controller and click the class as you can see we have a, ro a lot of um, method which is returning json partial with view, view component um, next lesson maybe at the end of the, this lesson but probably it's going to be next lesson we're going to go through with the result types so these are our result types guys okay and it is taken controller base as an inheritance let's have a look what we have in this section click to controllers and here we go so we have a lot of different different action as well let's have a look quickly as you can see guys there is a lot of results a variety for example content result we can return file virtual file result four bit result local redirect result result and result and result we have a lot of things but i'm going to show you um the basic ones all right let's close this one okay just keep your mind if you look into something comes from your inherited file just click control on the keyboard and click the related related class and you will reach the source code of those class All right okay let's continue our controller so we have a controller right now uh, now we're going to add a view but before that let's click a view folder this is a basic view folder structure we have one shared folder we have we have two different CSHTML file which is we import and we sort don't worry about it I'm going to explain all of them for the future lesson lessons I'm just going to make a quick scanning what we have in our structure okay let's close them all uh, these files they are not a basic HTML file. These are CS HTML files, which we call Reso pages. So we are able to see uh, sharp codes in these HTML files. For this level, this is going to be enough inf information for you. All right. So we have a shared folder as well. Let's have a look here. We have a layout CS HTML file. We have a validation scripts partial, and we have error which is going to be deleted by me right now because it comes as a default as a in a in our template we, we don't need it we're going to create our error v model for the future okay so what is this layout this is going to be another different lesson but you can um consider this as a shared page uh for our how can i say web pages just imagine we have a no bar all right so we have home for example about us um, um, contact us sections top of our web page 
so we can add those navbar into layout section all right so all we need to do make a connection between our weaves and layout pages then we able to reach those navigation bar from of all of our pages so it's a kind of a shared page all right um let's create our home controller um view actually the structure is once we create our view file for our action method we're going to have a folder to related controller and we're going to have weaves for each action method so i'm going to create another action result here All right, let's say get products and let's say get categories here all right so i have two different action and one controller which is home controller right click on the categories click the add view we're going to select rather view for now all right i'm going to explain for the future lesson again i'm just going to create quick weaves for you to explain you the structure all right let's add the category view file i'm waiting i'm waiting my humble visual studio to create a one view for me All right, as you can see, this is our get categories CSHTML file, and this is both HTML and C sharp file. All right, let's come to our weave section. Home folder represents our home controller, and this weave represents our get categories action. If I create another weave for get products, we're going to get another weave file underneath of the home folder let's create again let's edit hopefully we just did create a new view page for me all right as you can see we created our file and it is located under home folder all right what if i create another um, controller at this time I'm going to create a normal class and I'm going to switch it to the controller let's say authentication controller all right so this is a basic class right let's inherit from controller here we go now this is a controller let's add public i action result let's say login just consider this is a login method okay so once we create our login method page we're going to have another folder to represent our authentication controller let's create and see what we're going to have Come on, Visual Studio. All right. As you can see, we have another folder here, authentication, and we have login CSHTML file. Perfect. I assume the relation between controllers and weaves and CSHTML files. All right. Um, anything should I tell you? All right, I'm going to now create a fake data related to our models and I'm going to do the manipulation in my action method and I'm going to pass the data to my weave. All right, guys, let's quit. I'm going to use the get products. Okay, so all I need to do is let's create a product. Let's say 
um, television new product television dot id say one television dot title you can do like that or you can assign like this as well okay this is much more i like to use by the way id is one so it's much more easy to create title is let's say samsung um oled tv just random name okay stock level is we have 520 and stock status is let's say true and let's finish okay we're going to return our view we're going to pass this information to our view so we going to our action method just bring our model here manipulate it and pass it to the view now let's go to view right click on it and go to view I'm going to show you uh, much more, how can I say, deeply information, how, I, how we can give pass our data between our controller and views. But in this section, I'm just, I, I'm just going to show you the relation between control and views. That's why I'm doing it really early. Okay, we are using at model to add a model to our view and it is product is a product let me have a look or products it is product all right control dot and we add our namespace here so let's add our product here model of oh, sorry at model dot title title okay all we need to do is run our application and see the result. This is home controller, which is um, probably we're going to get error because we changed the name. We don't have we don't have index right now. All we need to do is type here get products products. Yeah, this is get products endpoint and we received our name of the product okay let's close it now uh, by the way let's go back our program as you can see our controller is home our action is index but index is let me have a look we don't have an index so we have get products right I'm going to change my root as the default get products. Now we go, we don't going to get an error message once we run our application. Okay, let's save it now. Close this section. So you now understand how we are using our controllers, models, and views, and passing data between these two or three. Okay. Um. Anything else in this lesson? Okay, I'm going to finish this lesson here. Next lesson, I'm going to show you the result types, return types, sorry. Then we will continue our journey where we left, guys. Okay, um, take care of yourself. See you on next lesson. Bye-bye.